pensioners are abandoning High Street with almost half of over 65s now favoring online shopping. Pensioners are turning away from the High Street and shopping online instead, with almost half of those aged over 65 now buying goods from the Internet. Though they remain the least likely demographic to buy online, the proportion of older people buying items via the Internet has trebled over the past decade from 16% to 48, data from the Office of National Statistics revealed. The increased buying online from the over-65 age group has led to them being dubbed silver surfers. Three shops close every day on Britain's high streets as online competition and soaring business rates take a toll on independent retailers. Pensioners represented the age group with the biggest increase in Internet shoppers over the past 10 years. The most popular online purchases in 2018 so far were clothes or sporting goods, which were bought by 55% of adults. Household goods, including toys, white goods and furniture, were the next most popular products, bought by 48%. And 42% of adults bought holiday accommodation online. Retail analyst at Mintel, Nick Carroll, said shopping online made sense for older customers particularly buying white goods or other bulky items. Online shopping may have been a young person's game in the past, but now it's mainstream among older generations, he told the Daily Telegraph. There is a lot less fear of problems like security, and it makes sense for older shoppers because of the delivery aspect. There has been an obvious impact on the high street from online shopping as people realize it's more convenient to shop from home. Convenience is really what's at the heart of it. A total of 78% of adults bought goods or services via the Internet in the last year, according to the figures. This is up 25 percentage points since 2008 and 1 percentage points since 2017. Those aged 16 to 24 were most likely to shop online once or twice, whereas people aged between 25 and 54 were most likely to shop online more than 10 times in the same period. The year has seen a bloodbath of Britain's high streets, with many of the nation's retailers shutting stores and axing jobs. Here are some of the big-name retailers which have lost out as they face fierce competition from the rise of online shopping carpet right. The carpet retailer is closing 92 stores across the UK. These closures represent nearly a quarter of all UK carpet right stores. Toys R Us the UK's largest toy shop went into administration in February 201, leading to an estimated 2,000 redundancies. House of Fraser, the department store chain is closing 31 of its outlets putting 6,000 jobs at risk Maplin, the electronics giant has gone bust, closing shops across the country and putting thousands of jobs at risk. Mother Care the baby and toddler chain is closing 60 shops across the UK putting up to 900 jobs at risk. Pound World Pound World announced it was going into administration on June 11 after talks with potential buyer R Capital broke down, putting 5,100 jobs at risk. 